Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. We're gonna be talking about the Sephora VIB sale. Now, if you know nothing about the sale, you are new to the sale, there are three different tiers to the sale depending upon what kind of Sephora status you're at, which sounds so like snooty, but it is what it is. If you're an insider, you get 10% off. If you're a VIB, you get 15% off. And if you are a Rouge, you get 20% off. Rouge members get early access, who is me, also me, which is a little embarrassing because it's it's like insane, but it's also easy to be a Rouge member because makeup at Sephora is so expensive. Makeup even at the drugstore is so expensive, but don't even get me started on that. I've done a number of Sephora VIB sale videos in the, I don't even know how many years I've been on YouTube, five, six, seven years. It's been a lot of years. So I have a slew of Sephora recommendation videos. I will link them all down below. But in today's video, I just looked at my collection. There have been things I have repurchased for like a decade at this point. I'm gonna mention a lot of them being skincare, staple makeups, like holy grail makeup products that I cannot live without. So these are just like top tier, what I currently love. As I talk about all the time, like makeup preferences change as the makeup industry becomes more scientifically inclined, you know, like formulas are forever changing. And so this is, these are the products that I think today here in 2024, if you were to buy any of these, they would really up your makeup repertoire. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the video because as always, I am running late. I am terrible at time management and Mike and I are going pumpkin picking today. So I have to look cute. Um, while also telling you all my favorites in a very timely fashion. All right. So skincare. This morning, woke up, threw a little bit of water on my face, and I started off with my serum that I use all the time. This is the Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. I love this. It has a ton of antioxidants in it, vitamin C, so it really helps to brighten the skin and also gives a very thin layer of moisturization. I just think this is a beautiful, beautiful serum. Now, if you know nothing about me, I am 33 years old. I have no Botox. I'm all natural, but I do have very dry skin, very dry, sensitive skin. So this is great for my dry skin babes, for my sensitive skin babes. I think that you will really love this. And I like that they offer a refillable. So I'm going to buy the refillable in the sale because as you can see, I am dwindling. So this video is going to include my favorites, um, my wants and things that I'm going to be repurchasing during the sale in case, you know, I just need to clarify that and make it clear what it is you're getting from me out of this video. But I'm going to be repurchasing this. And then another Shiseido product that I'm going to be repurchasing, which I'm praying that it comes back in stock because it has been out of stock at Sephora for a lifetime now. Cleansing oil that comes in a pump. It is like the best cleansing oil. I find like Shiseido, some of their products are heavily scented, especially like a lot of their night creams and they do irritate me, but they're lightweight products that are very minimal with no scents. Like like this and also the cleansing gel is just the cleansing oil i'm sorry it's so good the fact that it is in a pump just makes it like amazing there are two creams that i think are very comparable one of them being a bit more affordable both expensive but the Tatcha Water Cream is just so insane. I use this all the time. So when I wake up in the morning, I throw my serum on and then I need a moisturizer before I go in with sunscreen. So this has been clearly one that I have loved. Also really great. All of these are really great for those of you who have dry sensitive skin. This is the Tatcha Water Cream, but this these are expensive. This is like $65. And someone where I have very dry sensitive skin. So any layers that I put on my face, they need to be thin layers because if I pile too much product on my face, I get red bumpy. I get rashes. So that's just what I like. I like a thin yet hydrating layer. So this is really good. Tatcha also sells refillable pods. So you could just buy a refillable pod and I think you save overall like $10, but you know me, I like the sustainability of it all. But today I used the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. I will definitely be repurchasing this. Kiehl's sells a pouch that is like a squeezy pouch. It's big and it is just, uh, you know, they send you the pouch so you don't need to buy this again. So I'm on the ass end of this, but this is again, a really beautiful daily moisturizer. I would say very comparable to Tatcha Water Cream, but I think this is like 30 bucks and this is like 65 bucks. So you've been forewarned. Tatcha, definitely more a bougie experience. It has the little like scoopy scoop here. I never use this. I just, I am a savage, especially in the morning when I'm going hundred miles an hour because I don't give myself enough time to do anything clearly. So I don't really use this. I just dig my fingers in. I like manhandle it and that's what it is. This is really nice. I would highly recommend if you're going to buy either one of them. I think this one is the better bet. I am a Kiehl's girly. I love Kiehl's. 
and it's kind of just like really good skincare with no frill nonsense. Like you're not paying extra for the packaging, you're paying for the wonderful science that goes into their skincare. So really good dupe. If you like the touch of water cream, you will absolutely love this and your wallet will love it as well. I'm in with a little bit of eye cream, the Lily Henriksen Banana Bright Under Eye Cream. It does a really good job of really brightening the under eye. It has vitamin C in it and it kind of has like a little tint of orange to it. You guys have seen this so many times. It's a very light tint, but it does a really nice job of juicing up the skin, of filling in the lines and helping you if you have dark circles. So I use this every day. I kind of want to try a different eye cream. I put all of the items that I want to buy in the sale in my cart already. There are currently 26 items. I'm definitely going to be narrowing that down, but I think I want to try a different eye cream just because I've had this for such a long time and I saw that Caudalie has a really good one. I will put a photo of it here. I actually didn't even put it in my cart. Something a little bit different um, with a different applicator. I just, I want to mix it up. So something light. I have very, very sensitive skin around my eyes. This I think is not scented and it doesn't irritate my eyes. So if you are a sensitive eye girly, I highly, highly recommend this. Sol de Janeiro boom boom cream i have it in my bathroom i should have brought it out but they sell a refillable body cream it is so good it has caffeine in it it does a really good job of hydrating my skin tightening my skin and i use that in my midsection so i use it on my tummy on my thighs on my booty and it just does a really nice job of like subtly hiding and smoothing out any lumps bumps cellulite that you have it is not like a miracle worker granted i do work out and i find that lifting heavy weights really helps in the cellulite department but included in a video a really long time ago but it was like i did 30 days 60 days 90 days i think and i showed the progress and it does a really nice job of just lightly firming and hydrating and as we all know I am a dry, dry bitch. I'm also going to be buying the Laura Mercier Winter Wishes Mini Caviar Eye Stick Trio. I love the caviar sticks. We're going to talk about them in just a second, but I just wanted to mention that because I think that that's a beautiful gift set. There's also a Laneige gift set, which I think anyone and their mother would love. I believe it comes in a pack of four. I'm not going to buy it because I have this guy and they last a really long time, unless I feel like giving the gift of Laneige, which is such a beautiful gift, so maybe, but the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, I like the sweet candy one. So I've been using this. It does a really nice job of pumping, plumping the lips. I will say I don't use this at night. Like I don't use this to sleep because it does such a nice job of plumping the lips. So I want my husband to see how beautiful and big my lips are. And like, he doesn't see them when we're both sleeping. So just something to think about. At night, I tend to just use good old Vaseline. Another skincare item from Shiseido that I absolutely love. These are the best eye patches that you will find. These are the, these are the, I can't, I always struggle when I read this, like my brain goes and gets sideways, but these are the wrinkle resist 24 pure retinol express smoothing eye masks. It's the Shiseido Benefiance. What I like is that these are paper. They are not gel eye patches. So once you place them down, they stay in place. They will not slide down your face. We all love that. You can clean the house. You can walk on the treadmill, like whatever it is you want to do. These are so beautiful. They do a really nice job of hydrating and really truly smoothing out the fine lines around your eyes. I talk about them all the time and I will definitely be buying them in the sale. Oh, for sunscreen today, I used the Dr. Dennis Gross Ultimate Defense SPF 50. I like this. However, my favorite sunscreen is the, I think it's over here. Yes, the La Roche Posay Antelios UV Hydra Daily Invisible Sunscreen. I like an SPF of 50. I like this one so much more. However, this is a nice sunscreen. It doesn't irritate my skin. It doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. Makeup goes over it beautifully. And I like that it is like this little, I'm, I honestly went through this whole thing. This is an empty, I finished this today. There is nothing left in here. I like that it is light. So I can throw this in a travel kit. I can throw this in my bag. If I didn't give myself enough time in the morning to throw my sunscreen on, just throw it in my bag, call it a day, one and done. It's a beautiful thing. But I do like this one better and you can find this on Amazon or the drugstore. You know, my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, I went through this thing. There's like this much left. I love this. I also bought the one ounce little travel guy just because this is like when I just need something like some kind of serum to throw on my face at night and my skin is acting up. This is like, I say this all the time, but if you saw my big fat Greek wedding, I might be aging myself. 
<laughs> by saying that. Remember the dad? Is it the dad that throws Windex on everything? Rash. Somebody gave me the mati. Put some Windex on. Oh, God, please, please. Like, this is the Windex to my face. It is a beautiful, very, very thin oil that just plumps my skin, hydrates my skin, and it's just, oh, it's so nice. And it really plumps my skin to really push out any fine lines. Does a really beautiful drop, a really beautiful drop, drop, job of hydrating. This is expensive, very expensive, but I've had this for, I don't even know how long. It's been over a year and I, I use this on pretty much a daily basis. I mainly use that at night, but when Mike and I are traveling, I take my little one ounce guy and I use that as my morning serum and my nighttime serum. Makeup goes over it beautifully. It's just, it's an oil, but it's not too thick. Like I can't explain to you, it's the thinnest oil and it just makes your skin shine. I think it goes without saying, you guys know I love my new face. It is a microcurrent face tightening device. I will link a video up here as well as down below in the description if you would like to learn more, but it tightens my skin. It helps to depuff my face. It is so beautiful. I really highly, highly recommend this. The only thing is that you need to be consistent with it in order to continue to see results. And this is the New Face Hydrating Aqua Gel. You use the gel, you use this on top of the gel and you just like maneuver your face. And oh my God, I've talked about this so much. If you don't know anything about it, Google it check out my video. It's just, it's such a good product. So I would highly recommend this. Anything hefty in price is what I would recommend buying during the Sephora sale. So the new face, if you're interested in the Dyson hair air wrap, I curled my hair yesterday. You would never even know. So I don't really recommend the Dyson air wrap. However, I do love Dyson technology. I do use their um, hair dryer, blow dryer. It's really good. And I, I have this in my basket. I don't know if I'm going to buy it, but I have the Dyson air straight straightener just because I love air straightened. Like, you know, like when you straighten your hair with a blow dryer and like a paddle brush. I love that street as opposed to like an iron street. So that is also in my basket. The Ule Henriksen Glow Dark Spot Toner. If you are someone where you have dark spots on your face or your skin just gets very congested and you need a nice gentle exfoliation to just remove any of the dead skin to help lay in any, again, dark spots on your face, I would highly recommend this. Don't go overboard. I would use this maybe like two, three times a week, there was a point where I was just like stripping my skin and my skin was so thin. Like I went to my facialist and she was like, your skin is so thin, what are you doing? It was because I was using this every day. I would not use this every day. Again, use this two, three times a week. Just put it on a little comp pad. You could put it on a Shiseido pad, a drugstore pad, like a CVS brand pad, put it all over your face, get the dead skin off, and then your makeup or your skincare will just glide. It's so beautiful. I really, really do like it. Caudalie Resveratrol Lift. This was all over TikTok, all over everywhere. It is like a retinol alternative. So this is great. I think if you are someone that has an issue with retinol, I would give this a try. Really beautiful, milky substance. I used this last night and my skin is, ooh, ah, she is smooth as hell. However, I do really love the number seven, which you can buy at the drugstore. They have a beautiful, I think it's 1.5% retinol. I ran out of that, which when I'm done with this, I think I'm going to go back to number seven, just because I love that it's a drugstore retinol that is more affordable and gets the job done. Perfume. I really love my Gucci Bloom. This is my favorite perfume that I've ever bought at Sephora. However, I am a loyal Le Labo girl. Sephora, I would do Gucci because Gucci tends to last a very long time. I have very dry skin. Perfumes don't last on me, but Gucci lasts on me. And then also Le Labo lasts on me, but you cannot buy Le Labo at Sephora. I want to try the Caudalie Moisturizing Fig Body Oil Elixir. That sounds heavenly, especially now that the drier winter months are almost upon us. And I also really want to try the L'Occitan Cleansing and Softening Refillable shower oil with almond oil. I have heard great things. Every time I've gone to try and buy it, it has been sold out. I just need the hydration. I need hydration in the shower. So I'm thinking like hydrate my skin with the L'Occitane cleansing and softening shower oil, get out of the shower, use the Caudalie moisturizing fig body oil elixir. It just, it sounds so nice and something that I could really be into. I also want to try the Drunk Elephant F-Bomb Electrolyte Water Facial Mask. I've heard so many good things. I've heard it's so hydrating. And again, I do this thing where I get a facial every three months. And every time I go to my facialist in the colder months, she says that I need to hydrate better. So I need to find something a bit more hydrating than what it is 
I'm using. I also want to try the Drunk Elephant Bora Barrier Rich Repair Cream Six Butter Lipid Complex. Also heard really, really great things about how hydrating that is. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it for skincare. I'm gonna put my rings on quickly and now that I have all of my skincare products on. Every time I'm running somewhere, it's like I, I need an extra two minutes to throw my jewelry on. So let me throw it on now. For makeup, I am not someone where I, t I really honestly don't. I don't wear foundation like nine and a half out of 10 times. I don't wear foundation. So my favorite, most recommended concealers that you can find at Sephora are definitely both from Dior. I love the Dior Backstage Concealer. I'm in the shade 2CR, and I also love the Forever Skin Correct Dior, and I'm in the shade 1 Neutral. I have light skin with a neutral undertone, so I tend to like neutral undertoned foundations, concealers. These are both my favorite. If you are someone that, where you have fine lines and wrinkles or crepier skin, like I love the backstage. I use this all the time. These concealers are never ending. I've had this concealer for a lifetime. I use it pretty much every single day. So, you know, that's a plus if you are buying Dior because Dior is a hefty price. But if you are someone that you have fine lines, your makeup moves around, you can powder it and that will really solidify the fact that it won't move into your fine lines. But if you only use a little bit, it's not gonna migrate and make you know, like your under eyes look crepier than they need to look. So I just think this is a beautiful formula. They're both very, very nice and I can't say enough good things about them. And I would also recommend getting the Hourglass brushes. They are hefty in price, but my God, your makeup will apply beautifully. This is their foundation brush, but it, it's like a little angular brush. I use this for concealer and it just like bangs it out really quick. Again, someone who's always rushing because I'm terrible at managing my time and I'm always doing things last minute. Like this just gets it done super quick. Blends it into it, into your skin. It just, it just makes it look so natural. Now you don't need to spend a bajillion dollars on brushes. Again, I do think that Hourglass makes beautiful brushes given that you can get them 20% off if you are a Rouge member during the sale. Like I always recommend buying them because they will last forever. Like I have one Hourglass foundation brush that I've had for like the last decade. They wash really beautifully. They wash really quickly. So I find like I'm not, you know, standing at the sink washing them multiple times. You know, it, it really is just like a one and done and they keep their shape really nicely. So I do highly recommend. And now is the time to buy them. Another brush that I also love is this Rare Beauty. I don't know what it's called. I think it's a blush brush, but I use it with the contour stick, bronzer stick, sorry. I'm in the shade Bright Side. So I really like both of these things. I just like to get my makeup done and be on with my day. Like I love makeup and I enjoy makeup, but I like makeup to just enhance my mood, just get on with my day, you know? This blends so quickly between the actual product and this beautiful brush. I just think like you can't go wrong. And I really like this color. It is truly like a good bronzer shade for me. So it adds a little bit of warmth to my skin while also giving a bit of definition. But like, look, that took two seconds to blend out and I just like to stamp and blend. I've always been a Selena Gomez fan, but I'm so hesitant when celebrities come out with beauty brands because it's like, I don't know. I grew up in the NARS era where like I live for my NARS Luna bronzer. I live for my orgasm blush. It's just like, you know, like a makeup artist designed the brand. So I, in that way, I kind of like am a makeup snob, but Rare Beauty, all the things that I've tried from the brand are so nice. Like this brush is so nice. I love that it's on an angle, it really like glides and blends. I tried Gwen Stefani, like some of her products, and I feel like Gwen Stefani, her brand's like a little bit more hit or miss. Rare Beauty is really nice and I'm excited to try more. Maybe I'll look at some of her products and maybe add some to my basket for this. But for cream blushes, I love Tower 28. This is a beautiful, like autumnal wintry shade. This is in the shade After Hours. I like that it is a dark purple. I love the formula. These are both more like gel consistencies. And then I just wanted to mention Merit. This is also a very beautiful autumnal color. This is in the shade Persimmon. Again, the formula, outstanding. These are my two favorite cream blushes. I think if you were in the market, 
for a very user-friendly cream blush. Either one of these will do the trick. I think I'm actually gonna use persimmon today because I think it like matches my dress beautifully. Um, so I'm just gonna pat this over the top and start hustling because I only have 20 minutes and my God, we have no makeup on. Of course, Mike told me to be ready for 11.30 and it's 11.37 and I am nowhere, I'm nowhere near being ready, but here we are. <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel like whenever you watch my videos, you're signing up for my chaotic mess of a life energy. You know, it could be less chaotic if only I could just like pull it together and better at time management, but it's something that I just like, genuinely struggle with. I don't know what's wrong with me. Another brush that I love that is more affordable is the Sephora 57. Oh my God, it's just the shape of it is so good. I use this to apply my concealer and I also use this to just, I go over everything when I'm done with my cream products just to help sculpt and kind of like separate and just take any of the fine lines or the concealer that's moved into the fine lines out so that when I set it, I'm not setting makeup into my fine lines. So that is literally what I'm doing here. And then I have learned to love this. This is the air, br air, br air brush, air brush, <laughs> flawless finish powder by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm in the shade one fair. I like this now, you know, it's not the dead of winter. I find that like when my skin is really dry, you know, powder is drying, but like, less drying powder. I will definitely move back to my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, which I love, I adore, and you can also find that at the Sephora sale. But until then, I'm just gonna use this because I love that it has a little bit of coverage. So it's great for me. I don't use foundation. So if I can get a little extra coverage in my powder, that's just a beautiful win-win. I love that it is a pressed powder. So I can throw this in my bag. Again, the common theme of me rushing is that I can throw things in my bag, get on with my life, do things like in the car, on the bus, just like finish the makeup and not have to worry about this getting everywhere. So I learned to like this, but again, I do think that if you have a certain skin texture, it works for you. So if you're dry and dehydrated, I would recommend the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I just think that that is a bit less of a drying powder, but this looks it's so nice and I do love that it gives a little bit of coverage. If you are interested in seeing what it is I actually buy during the sale, what I like from my sale purchases, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell button. This way you get a notification. And I will do like a what I bought during the sale and then I will also do a like review down the road. So if you're interested in what it is I bought and then how I feel about what I bought, make sure you subscribe. This way we can hang out and you can hear my kind of like thoughts on the things. So that could be fun. I don't know. This is just a staple forever holy grail, NARS Laguna bronzer. It's, there's a hole in her. Once I'm done with her, I think I wanna try something else. So I did put the Armani Luminous Silk Creaming Bronzing Powder into my basket. So maybe we will, you know, maybe we'll give that a try. I don't know. But the problem is like, I don't, I feel like this will last a really long time. This pot, this thing is so big. So I feel like it will last a really long time. So I don't know if maybe I can make it to the next Sephora sale to buy the Armani powder. I've heard such good things about that, that I do want to give it a try. And again, this dual edged brush from Hourglass. I use this all the time. I use the large side for bronzer, the small side for blush. I'm going quickly. I'm hustling. I'm sweating because I'm hustling and I'm sweating. You people are making her late. Do you want some bronzer? Again. No, I make myself late. Don't blame them. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. I'm hurrying. We said I have 20 minutes, right? 19. All right, 19. We have 19 minutes. If you are someone where you're trying to curate just good, good, and you're not trying to explore and try things new, I always recommend this to everyone and anyone. They always ask me like a good bronzer and this is so good. It doesn't lean too red. It doesn't lean too orange. It's just, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I just, I love NARS. Dolce Vita blush. I really want to buy the red one. I think it's called like Exhibit A. I like more 
like red toned blushes and the way that i do my makeup i put cream clearly and then i put powder on top so i like when my powder blushes match my cream blushes because it just enhances them it doesn't take away from them and i don't have a red powder blush so I'm thinking maybe I should get that. And I always put a little bit into the crease of my eye because I never have enough time for eye makeup. But let's be real. I could just live my life without any eyeshadow or anything. That's just kind of my vibe. I actually don't even have an eyeshadow in this haul except for my caviar sticks. So we're gonna do what I've been doing. And of course my battery is overheating. That is lovely because my camera was overheating and I'm running out of time. I filled in my brows and my favorite brow product from Sephora is definitely the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade. I use medium brown and I did buy the brush that is the 7B. Um, I just, I love how this applies the pomade. It goes on so beautifully. And then if ever you add a bit too much, you just use the spoolie and kind of just, kind of like blend it out. That's how I think make it look a little bit more natural. And I love a bold brow. That's definitely my vibe. I don't love any brow gels from Sephora. I would say maybe like the Merit one in, it's like called their 1980 brow gel. However, I'm just gonna use my drugstore one. This is the e.l.f. Clear Brow Mascara for your lashes and your brows. This just does a really nice job of keeping them in place and it's clear. And I just like a clear when I use the pomade because I find like the pomade could be a little stark. And so this just kind of makes it less harsh on the eyes. Now I put a little bit of the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. I love these. I have them in an array of colors and they just add a bit of shadow to the eye. So I added it to this eye and there is nothing on this eye. And can you see the difference? They're just subtle which is definitely my vibe in terms of eye makeup. A lot of days I'll just go and not put any eye makeup or I'll just put a little bit of bronzer in the crease of my eye, but look at that. You just draw and you blend and you just call it a day, which is why I really love these. This is in the shade Strapless. It's kind of just like a really easy breezy color and reflects light. So this will be nice because we're going pumpkin picking, we'll be outside and it'll kind of just like catch the light outside a little bit. I also have to say my other two favorite colors are amethyst, which I think it's beautiful if you have brown eyes, just a little bit of like, it's kind of like a grayish purple, very wearable. Again, just throw it on your lid, smudge it out, call it a day. Oh, maybe I packed that. And also cocoa, which is like a beautiful deep brown, perfect, for every day. I also love my Tweezer Man eyelash curlers. So let's go ahead and curl our lashes. I have two mascaras that I've really been enjoying. My number one, which I have a rule where I only have one mascara in play at a time. This one is in the box. This is my favorite one, the Lancome Lash Adol. I like a wispy, kind of like natural looking eyelash. I don't like too much volume. I have small eyes, so I feel like if it's too voluminous, it makes my eyes look smaller. So that's my vibe in a mascara, if that's your vibe. I would highly recommend it, Lancome Lash Adol. And then the one that I have been using because I opened it, is the Hourglass Unlocked Instant Eyelash Extension Mascara. I like these kind of wands. The Lancome Lash Adol wand is a little bit curved. Um, I would show you, but I'm not gonna open it because I got a sty a few weeks ago from using old mascara. And the second that the air touches the inside of the mascara, that counts as when you open it. And that is a reason why I love travel size mascaras because I don't wear mascara enough to go through a tube in three months, but you know, I'll go through a trial size mascara in three months. So you just, you save money, not wasting an entire tube of mascara. But this is the mascara on, it's just wispy. It's nice. I find like it doesn't flake on my face. If I'm hot, it doesn't migrate to my lower lash line. And it's just really like eye opening, very bright, beautiful mascara. I highly recommend. This is my favorite pencil for the eyes. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Her Classic Eyebrow Powder Pencil and Classic Brown. This is my favorite formula of hers. It is just a really nice dark brown, beautiful for every day. And it is your typical kind of like wooden pencil. I don't like a liner that's kind of like that crayon consistently 
consistency. I find that they go on a little bit chunky. That's not my vibe. So this has been my favorite eyeliner as well as Honey Bee Gardens, which is more affordable. You can buy on Amazon. I will link my Amazon storefront down below. Very quickly, my favorite lip liners from Sephora are definitely Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have two shades. I have the shade Hazelnut. A peachy brown reminds me a lot of my MAC Strip Down. The MAC Strip Down is a little bit darker than this. And then my favorite, favorite shade from ABH is Muted Mauve. Is a bit more mauve -y. But again, you can tell. I like a warm-ish. Like this one's definitely more warm. Hazelnut is definitely more warm. And then Muted Mauve is kind of more peachy, but also pinky. It can go either way. So my upper lip is sweating from rushing. I'm so sorry. But let's just throw this on very quickly. And that's it. I don't really like overline too much. I just want to define my lips. And then in terms of lipsticks, I really don't have a lot because my heart really belongs with drugstore lipsticks. So I wanted to mention my Dior 001 Lip Glow. I've used it so many times. It's actually in my pocketbook downstairs. I'm not going to go get it because I'm running out of time. But you guys have seen it. Hydrating. I like that on the days where I'm not wearing any makeup or very minimal makeup and I don't feel like wearing a lip liner because I can just throw it on my lips and it adds a beautiful flush to the lips. Highly recommend that one always. I would also recommend getting yourself the YSL lipsticks. I actually have one in my cart. I have the shade 44 in my cart because it's sold out all the time. And so the intrigue for me is really there. My two favorite shades that I own are 205. This is a very moody kind of like full autumnal lipstick. And then the shade, oh, this is 44, but I, there's a 44 in the newer formula that I want to try. I'll put a picture of that lipstick on the screen. This is more of like an everyday kind of lipstick. This is in their Lip Glaze formula, I'm pretty sure. And then this one is in their Love Shine formula. I like both. I don't know. I find they're very similar. I think that the Love Shine lasts a little bit longer, but today I'm going to wear this pink one because it just goes better with my outfit. And this is kind of like a cool toned pink. So very pretty. I do like these. You do need to reapply. That's my only gripe that I have with them. I don't mind reapplying lipstick, but this is the kind of lipstick where if you're drinking, if you're eating, you need to reapply a lot. So you've been forewarned, but very beautiful, very hydrating. And if you're someone that has dry lips, especially in the cooler months, these are great because not only do they add a little bit of color to your lips, but they also genuinely hydrate them. So at the end of the day, they won't feel dehydrated. For lip gloss, my favorite lip gloss at Sephora, definitely the Lip Collagen Baths by Charlotte Tilbury. My favorite one is Refresh Rose. I have two in my cart currently. I will go ahead and pop those on the screen. I'm just going to throw a little bit of this on. This does a beautiful job of adding shine and also does that kind of like plump from within. So it will really hydrate your lips and then push the fine lines out. They have a very light minty feeling, very comfortable on the lips. But yeah, this is it guys. This is the finished makeup look using all of the products that I think you would benefit from buying during the Sephora sale. Be sure to let me know down below in the comments section, is there anything that you use on a daily basis from Sephora that you think I could use in my makeup wardrobe? I would love to hear it. Let me know if there's anything that I mentioned in this video that you now have your eye on, or just let me know whatever it is you have your eye on, whether it is I mentioned it or not. I would love to talk down below in the comments. I'm planning on getting this video up with ample time so that we can discuss our purchases before actually placing them in our cart and hitting checkout. I love you guys so much. If you enjoy these Sephora VIB sale videos, make sure to leave this video a big thumbs up down below. If you enjoyed hanging out with me and you would like to hang out with me some more or maybe see what it is I actually do end up buying during the Sephora VIB sale, then again, make sure to subscribe and click the bell button next to it. This way you get a notification whenever that video goes live. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a beautiful day, beautiful night, whenever it is you are watching this. And I really hope to see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.